In this video, I want to show you how you can link to your SharePoint list from Microsoft Access. So uh, I want to go to my SharePoint for a second. Uh, and I'm going to go into I'm going to go into uh, the site contents. And here we see a, t uh, a list called products. And uh, if I scroll down here, you can see uh, it's going to have 97 items. You can see it has 97 items, and the last item is an iPad. All right, so I just want to show you that that list exists. And uh, from SharePoint, I'm going to pick on Home now. So the list already has to exist on SharePoint, of course. Now let's go into Access. By the way, what I'm showing you will work in Access 2013, Access 2010, and Access 2007. Uh, so in this case, I'm going to pick on uh, external data from the Access database. I'll pick on More, and right there it does say SharePoint List. So uh, now, if your site doesn't come up there, then you're going to type it in over here. Uh, so when you do that, uh, it's very possible that it's going to ask you to, um, to use your username and password for your SharePoint. Now you can either import it, or you can link it. If you want it to be real-time updates, then you're going to do a link there. Uh, so I'm going to pick on this one, of course, and I'll pick on Next. Now, uh, sometimes, like I said, it will ask you for your username and password. Uh, and then uh, if you've used that connection before, it'll let you right in. So in this case, you get to pick your table, so uh, your, your SharePoint list. So I'll pick on Order Details, Orders, and Products. I'm going to go ahead and click on OK. And now it's going to import those into my Access database. Uh, let's go into the products table. Now you can use this like any other table, really. It can be used in tables. Uh, it could use, be used in forms, queries, or reports, or even to link to other tables. So I'm going to go ahead and add a new record here. And let's say uh, my next. Now the, the uh, product ID is actually an auto number field, and it'll fill that in for you. So let's say my next product is going to be. Uh, a um, let's say we want a laptop. I'll put a supplier in there in a category, and let's say that's going to be seven hundred and fifty dollars. I'm going to close that window here in Access. Now I want to go right back into that products table, and I'm going to go ahead and uh, go to the last record, and you can see it really did fill in the order number, and there's the laptop. Uh, so, now let's see if it made it into the SharePoint uh, and viewable from the SharePoint. So, I'm going to go ahead and click on the, the SharePoint again. And in this case, I'm going to go ahead and go into Site Contents and bring up the Products table. And now, we'll go down and check out the records. And you can see the laptop is in there. Now, uh, I'm even going to change it on the SharePoint side, and you'll see that it'll change it in the Access side as well. So, uh, in this case, in 7750, I'll change that to uh, $1,000. Okay, you can see I'm, I'm uh, changing it on the SharePoint side. I'm going to go ahead and uh, stop which will save it. Okay. And you can see it changed to $1,000 on the SharePoint side. I'm going to go back home again. Now, let's see if it changed it on the Access side because it got changed in SharePoint. I'm going to go ahead and double click on the products table, go to the last record, and you can see it does say 1000 there. So, when we, when we link to that SharePoint site, um, we can either update it from the SharePoint uh, site or from Access, and uh, that's how you're going to link to your SharePoint list from Access. What we did was we picked on external data, we picked on more, we picked on SharePoint list. Actually, you do pick a link there if you want real-time updates, and then you, you go ahead and uh, type in your SharePoint site. Once you do that, you'll be able to pick your uh, list that are on the SharePoint site, and uh, that's how you can really link your SharePoint to Access 2013, 2010, or 2007.